Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get smoother playback by using the render cache and optimized media features. So these tools are great to have, especially if you have a less powerful or slower machine. But even if you did have a more powerful machine, if you're going to be working with 4K, 6K, 8K files or more complex projects, then these two things are going to definitely improve your overall video workflow. Now before I get into this, let me show you the specs that I'm working with. I'm currently running an Intel Core i7-6700K running at 4 GHz. I have 32 gigs of RAM. And for my GPU, I have an AMD RX 470 with 4 gigs of RAM. And then all of my storage is running off of SSDs. And so this is a fairly fast machine for my needs. But even then, whenever I'm doing 4K videos or I'm doing more complex projects, then my machine definitely suffers when it comes to performance. And so let's go ahead and start off with the project settings. So let's go down here to the bottom right to our project settings. So as you can see here, we have optimized meter and render cache. So these are the defaults. So my current meter resolution is choose automatically. So for example, if I made optimized meter for a 4K file, it'll more than likely choose a low resolution or it'll choose the resolution of the timeline, which is currently 1080p. But you can also change this. You could choose original resolution, half, quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth. So the lower that you go, the less resolution that you have, but the better performance that you get. And then here for optimized media, the default is HQX. This is broadcast quality. This is cinema quality. HQ is high quality, SQ standard quality, LB is low bandwidth. There's other formats here. And if you do have the paid version, you get even more formats, including ProRes. Now for people who have a slower machine, I highly recommend you choose SQ or standard quality. And the same thing goes for render cache. Now here you can also enable background caching. The default is five seconds. You can decrease this or increase it if you want. And there's also cache transition to composite and cache fusion effects. And then here we actually have the location of where our cache files are gonna be stored. So the default is cache clip. However, you can choose a different folder. And then similarly, you can do that for gallery stills as well. So if I go here to my computer, this is the cache clip folder. So this is where all the render cache and optimized media files are going to be stored. So these are all the very important settings that you need to understand at the beginning because these do affect how your optimized media and render cache files are going to be produced. So let's go ahead and head over to our edit page. Here in the edit page, I have two 4K clips. I've already brought them down over to my timeline. And if I would just press play right now, my computer really has no problems just playing back 4K. But once I start editing my video, adding other elements like text or effects, that's when the performance issues start showing up. So for example, if I were to bring this 3D lower third, this is a fusion clip. So if I try to play this right now, it's really stuttering because right now this fusion clip is rendering and so until this bar is completely blue it's going to have problems in playing this so you notice right now i'm still playing it so yeah so that's just adding a, a simple lower thirds but that is a more complex one so that's 3d so now let's go ahead and make it even worse by going to this clip and adding a quote unquote pro level color grade so i'm going to do that real quick you know, feel free to copy this if you want, you know, because it's pretty sweet. And we'll go ahead and do that one right there. Yeah, yeah. That's an Oscar winner right there. All right, we got a pro level color grade. We'll go back here. Let's press play. And you'll notice there's performance issues right away. And then, you know, as you could probably tell, as you add more and more elements, the performance gets worse. And so that definitely affects your overall speed of workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and remove the awesome color grade. So now we're back to normal. And then other areas where just having higher resolutions causes issues with your workflow is when you're scrubbing through your video. So if I were to scrub through this right now, it does go back and forth fairly easily. But as you could probably tell, it skips and drops a lot of frames. So definitely not the smoothest experience. So now let's go ahead and see how we could implement this whole render cache and optimized media to get better performance. For fast website hosting and top-notch servers and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service news at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now let's go up here to playback. 
and what you see here is use optimized meter if available is check and so I highly recommend that you leave it that way now before we produce any optimized meter let's look at render cache and proxy mode so if we go down here to render cache there's three options none smart and user and so right now I have user checked and so what that means is whenever you go down here to your project settings this is where we set our optimized meter and render cache settings and so that's what it's going to use these are our user settings so if you decided to use your settings that's what you want to choose and if you choose smart DaVinci Resolve is going to decide what to cache and what not to now we could go over to proxy mode and this is where you'll be able to see differences right away by choosing half resolution or quarter resolution so basically whatever you're looking at in your timeline and so let me choose half resolution and you might not be able to tell it here so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and now I'm gonna go ahead and choose quarter resolution and you could probably definitely see the qualitative difference here and then I'm finally gonna go back to full resolution basically turn it off so proxy mode is off so by doing that you're gonna be able to get better performance on your real-time playback so if I were to set this at quarter resolution the resolution will be lower on our project timeline however it's gonna be a lot better whenever you're playing back things because obviously it's playing back at a lower resolution but your original files it's still going to be at its full resolution whenever you render this out so that is a quick look at the whole render cache and proxy mode so now we can move over to optimized media with optimized media you're probably going to be getting the best overall performance by using these files uh, in combination with the other two things that you have and so before you do this you're going to go ahead and choose which clips that you want to create optimized medias out of and so you could do that in a number of ways you can go up here and just select multiple files and then you could right click on your mouse and you could choose generate optimized media or you could go down here to your timeline choose the clip you want right click and then choose generate optimized media so I'm just going to do that for this one clip so we'll go ahead and generate and depending on your computer uh, this could take a little bit of time especially you're going to be doing a whole bunch of clips together but it's going to be worth it okay so our optimized media clip should be done and let me show you where that's at on your folders so we're going to go ahead and go back to our cache clip folder and we'll find that folder that we have all our cache files in and optimized media so it's right here so once you have optimized media there'll be another folder here and that's where all your optimized media compressed files are going to be so that's where those things are at so that means we're ready to use them and DaVinci Resolve will go ahead and you know basically connect your optimized media to your original clip so now if we play this back let's make sure we're in full mode so I'll go ahead and play this back and things are going to be a lot better with this because now you're scrubbing through your videos it is much quicker versus before because DaVinci Resolve is using the optimized media version but once again once you render this out it will be using the original clip and if you go to the other file I have another clip right here which doesn't have optimized media you will know the difference right away so everything is really much faster and smoother it's not dropping any frames here so if I go here to my other clip with no optimized media I'm scrubbing through it and you see there it's dropping a lot of frames it's like night and day difference of performance versus this one which is way smoother yeah it's just faster and then also if you were to add other elements to it um, it won't necessarily improve this whole render time for this but what will happen is once you start adding a whole bunch of different things since it is working off this optimized media uh, your performance will be better uh, when it comes to your overall speed and workflow so once again I'm gonna add this a uh, pro level color grading so it's a lot better whenever you're using this uh, optimized media clip <laughs> that is really scary <laughs> and so yeah so as you can tell uh, just by using this alone it will improve things overall and if you did want to improve things even further uh, you can also cache your you know 
effects or anything that you have out of fusion or color so if you right click on it uh, or let me see go right here you can right click you can choose render cache fusion output so it's auto right now you can always make sure it's on so that means it's always going to render this out before it actually plays it so so this whole bar right here you see there there's another bar right here it's rendering this whole thing out right now so all of these things do take more time to actually render or cache all of it but the benefits are like once that's done everything's going to be a lot faster and another tip that you can do is if you have a whole bunch of different effects and fusion clips on and you don't want all of it to be rendering right now uh, while you're playing back through your project timeline you can choose this and it turn it off so then you could at least you know watch your clips and you could also scrub through your video while this whole thing is rendering out okay and you could always turn this back on so that's another a little tip that you can use wow awesome <laughs> and so those are uh, my really quick tips on how you could get better performance smoother playback uh, by simply using the optimized media render cache and proxy mode settings that you see right here so as you can tell this really will improve uh, your overall workflow even if you are using a lower powered slower machine so that is it for this particular tutorial if you had any other thoughts on this or any other tips that you had in improving the overall performance in DaVinci Resolve, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorial tips and tricks, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.